Hi guys, welcome to Beer Time. My name's Kyle. Let's do some day drinking. Hi there. Got a new beer to try today. I have not had this before. I'm looking forward to it. This is from Urban Chestnut Brewing Company. They're out of St. Louis. One of the newer breweries there making some interesting things. This is their Reverence Series number 12. It's called Maximilian Weisenbach Ale. It's a, it's a wheat beer, and it's, it's got wheat in it, but it also has a, um, I, wanna, I wanna get this right, it's a, it's a wheat, uh, let me get it right. It's a, it's a wheat beer uh, yeast strain, so it's got a couple of wheat elements going on with it. So let's get this into the glass and, and take a look, see how it looks, and, and see what's going on with it. Urban Chestnut packages these things in a, uh, an interesting um, European style uh, bottle here. It's one pint, point nine fluid ounces. So it's basically a pint and, and just a little bit of change. And it's a beautiful package. The shape of the bottle's pretty and the artwork on it is stunning. You'll see a picture at the end of it. I, they do a great job on their artwork. What do we've got here? Kind of a caramel color that turns a little bit dark as it, as it fills the glass. Very nice. I'm not going to fill this all the way. I kind of want to taste it. It's a little bit. It's a little bit thick. Looks a little bit uh, chewy. It, it looks darker than it, um, on the screen than it, than it really is. It's just. It's kind of a muddy, um, dark toffee color, if you will. And <laughs> it smells wonderful. Mm. I actually smell some like um, sweet raisin notes in here some caramel notes, maybe some toasty stuff in here too. Let's give it a taste. Doesn't have um, t uh, much of a head on it, to be honest with you, but the side of it has bubbles that are just just pouring up the side of it. You can really see it. And uh, mm. yeah, there's, there's, a fr there's kind of a, a fruit caramel note in here. It's really, um, smells great. Oh man. That's really yummy. It's rich, toffee, caramel. The wheat in there provides some some sweetness, some sweet notes to it. Mm. Yeah, this beer really satisfies. It's rich, medium bodied, but full flavored for sure. They. Um, I don't understand why they don't, but this company generally doesn't put their, uh, their what, what the gravity is on these, what, what the percentage of alcohol is by volume. And I don't really understand that, but I'll let them kind of mess around with that. So I don't know what this is running at. But I do know this. This Maximilian Weisenbach Ale is just delicious, is what it is. Mm. Excuse me, I, it's talking to me a little bit this morning. It's got lots of effervescence in it. It's just going and going. I, uh, you know how you run across a beer every once in a while, or you think to yourself, what would it be the like, like if you were stuck with a beer, would you be all right with this beer for like, if it was the last beer you could ever have, but you could have it for the rest of your life? Occasionally, you know, you run into beers or think about that, you know, this is a beer you put you quite possibly could do that with. It's not a heavily hopped beer, but boy, is it a delicious beer. Rich, yummy. It, it just, it tastes like some, it just tastes special. You can, you get that, the wheat notes in it too, the grains that are in it. It's a little chewy. Like I said, it's kind of medium bodied, full flavored. Definitely going to put my, my pinky out on this, right? Mm. Very nice. I'm telling you what, I've had a few of these urban chestnut beers, and every one I have, I'm, I'm kind of just like blown away. But these reverence series that they, that they do, I mean, they've got some funky stuff too that is good, but the, these German-style beers that they're putting out are just... Uh, well, they're, they're just kind of fantastic, and, and I'm really enjoying them. And so, based upon what I was saying earlier, is this good for day drinking? This is good for all types of drinking. 
have this with uh, at your party. If you could get some of these and get these out to people, boy, they, they'd love the hell out of you. It's delicious. It would be, this will hold up well to, to uh, so some big, big meals. Um, I think keeping this around for the holidays would be amazing. I, I would just love this at Thanksgiving dinner. It'd be perfect for Christmas, too. Hopefully somebody got you a gift and you opened it up while you're drinking this and you got these, right? You open it up and you're like, oh, thanks for the Weizenbach Ale. That's awesome. And you're like opening up the gift and you've got more. And that would be a great gift. This is fantastic. I got to tell you guys, I'm a real winner today. When I have beer this good, it gets me real optimistic. It gets me really happy. And it makes me just want to, you know, have more of them. Probably a little dangerous. It tastes like it could be a little, little, little spicy, a little hot. But that's my cross to bear. Hope you guys, you're in St. Louis, you can track this down, this Urban Chestnuts Maximilian Weisenbach. Boy, what a delicious beer. Put it in a nice glass, savor it, give these out to your friends, they'll thank you for it. And I just think this is delicious. Have a great day. I'm going to get after this and uh, just really enjoy it and enjoy my day. See you guys.